because we're all geniuses. Guys, I like using my technology. Like, it gives me life. But anyway, today we're going to be doing patterns with pictures, okay? So they're not necessarily going to be linear patterns and there isn't a general formula. So I'm relying on your brains to come up with a relationship between the position of the term and the value of the term. Okay, it's begun TN notation and we spoke about this. So let me refresh your memory a little bit before we start. Oh my goodness, guys, I have populated the space with my bitmoji. Was that smart? No, it wasn't. Let me tell you right now, it wasn't smart. But it's okay, Pasi, welcome. Welcome. Remember, we said TN would be the value of the term and N is the position of the term. So I'm still gonna be working with T, N, and N, but we're not necessarily, yes, we did, Basi, you missed it, you missed it, how could you, oh my goodness, how sad, there it is, there we go. And you have made it, that's why you're on I see the vision, I see the vision. You are part of the top achievers, well done. Okay, so we're still gonna be working with our T, N notation, but we're not necessarily gonna be using a general formula. So to get our brains going, guys, to get our brains going. Let's talk about the black squares. Okay, we have three, two types of patterns here. We have, okay, this is position one, position two, position three. In the first, second, and third patterns, how many black squares do we see, guys? How many black squares are in each? One. Thank you, Amashe. And where's everybody else? There is about 38 of you guys here. There we go, now we're talking some participation, please. We don't wanna sleep. There we go. So every pattern has one, guys. So do you agree that no matter what the position is, TN means no matter what the position is, the general rule is we're gonna have one black square. Let me write here black so you know to about black squares. So even in position 1150, we will always have one black square. That was easy enough, right? Now let's talk about the gray squares. What's happening there by the gray squares? So in pattern one, we have one, two, three, four gray squares. In pattern two, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight black squares. In pattern three, we have three, six, nine, 12 black squares. Who sees a pattern? Gray, excuse me, gray, I keep saying black. Who sees a pattern? And what pattern do we see? Mm -hmm. Yes, we are, future. Yes, we are. Right? There are. There's like 40 people in here. You guys are like, we are here for ET. Now let's do ET. The one we are here for. Amashe says adding four. Okay, Amashe, going from term to term, we are adding four. So going from there to there, we are adding four. There to there. We're adding four. But I want to know what the relation is between the term number, i.e. number one, and the value of the term. How would I get from one to four, guys? Listen carefully. So term one is four, right? Term two is eight. Term number three, Listen to the question carefully, guys. If I'm going from four to eight, I add, there we go, Voltari, that's what we're looking for. Guys, do you agree that one times four is four? Give me right at the bottom of someone. If my highlighter can go away, there we go. Yes, guys. So remember, in this case, we're looking for the relationship between the value and the position. We're not looking at the relationship from one term to the next. We're looking at the relationship from the position to the value. Yes, guys. So if one times four is four, two times four is eight, then TN is what? TN is what? Let me know in the chat. How would I write this in TN notation? Four times what? Come on, guys. I know it's holiday, but we can do this. We can do this, guys. It's not difficult. Four times. Look at this. Look at this. What does that one represent? Is it N or TN? Maybe let me say it like that. 
are those ones that I just highlighted N or T? Novoya says N. Let's hear what everyone else has to say. Novoya says it's N. What does everyone else say? We're very quiet today. Tando agrees. Zwabudi so says TN. Tari has already given us the formula and everyone is telling us it's N. So then our general formula has to be four times N, which can be written as just four N. Do you see guys? Because term number one is four times one, which is four, which would be correct. See guys, are we with me? Are we with me? Thumbs up or thumbs down? We need to establish if we are sort of getting there while it's too early. Thumbs up. Okay, I see you guys in the reactions. I see everyone thumbs up. Okay, there's no one with thumbs down. So I'm hoping so far we are with me. So the point of this was to show you that we are not looking for the relationship from term to term. I agree we are adding four. But we're looking for the relationship between the position and the value. Okay. Because if this was in a table form, we would have a one, two, three, four, and at the bottom we have four, eight, twelve, sixteen. We want to know how do we get from one to four? How do we get from two to eight? And so on. Great. I see a lot of thumbs up. If you're confused, remember you can ask a question in the chat. Or you can just raise your hand and we can talk about it. So far, it looks like everyone's fine. So that was very easy. Let's move on. Okay. We have other pictures. So this is position one, position two, position three. Okay. So first, let's establish how many sides are in position one. So term one is how much? How many sides are in term one? Let me know. Amatli just gave me the whole answer, guys. Wutu says three. Trumpo, Nolitando, Tando. So T1 has three. T2 has how much? Tando, Rutendo, thank you, Uno. Four and T3 has five. See, do we see a pattern? Do we see a pattern? Remember, I know, I know that to go from there to there, I add one. There to there, I add one. But that's not the relationship we're looking for, guys. We're looking for how do I get from term one, well, the number one, to a three. Similarly, how do I get from two to four? How do I get from three to five? Does anyone see the pattern yet? Does anyone see the pattern yet? How do you get from one to three, you guys? Yay, Marco's like, boo, 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 boo. thanks, boo, boo, thanks, Marco. Everyone else, let me know that you can see what's happening over here. Tando, Swabudi, Dupo. Yes, guys, see? So you're going to say the position of the term. So TN will be the position, which is N plus two. How easy was that, guys? How easy was this? You guys are getting it. So since we know how to get the general formula, tell me in T position number 12, how many sides will the shape have? Yes, Dimpo, you guys are on fire. You guys came here to fight. We are here to fight. In position 12, how many sides will my shape have? Hello. Please don't tell me it's my connection. There we go, 14. Because if you have 12 at the position of N, this thing is irritating me, but it's okay. If we have, no. Okay. It's fine. Don't have to highlight. It doesn't want me to highlight. 
we have 12, we're going to add 2. So the shape in position 12 will have 14 sides. In position hmm, 4, listen to the question carefully. In position 4, what will the name of the shape be? Oh, we're spicing things up a bit. In position four, what is the name of the shape? Let's see. Ooh, we're gonna say hexagon. Both and Namasya seem to agree that it's gonna be a hexagon. Where's everybody else? There we go. Tando, Rutendo, Akunzi. So first you have to figure out how many sides, which will be n plus two. In this case, it will be four plus two. That is six sides, and that is indeed a hexagon. Okay. Um, if I have hmm, 18 sides, okay. I said I was gonna divide my page. I'm still not very good at that, but I'm getting there. If I have 18 sides, let me move this chart to the side. What position will that shape be in? So I'm telling you now, I have 18 sides. What is the position? So what is T? What is N? Excuse me. TN is 18. What is N? Let me know. And once you get it, does anyone want to unmute, raise their hand, and tell me how they would have gotten to the answer? Basi and Amashe seem to agree, and they actually helped each other in that answer. Hey, okay? one told us how we got there, the other one told us the answer. Okay, so I said TN is 18, but we also know that TN is N plus 2. So therefore, 18 would be the same as N plus 2. How do I get rid of this two, guys? How do I get rid of this two? I want n on its own. Yes, we all agree, we all see, right? Teamwork is these people are flying, guys. Do I even have enough? But it's funny. Thank you, Tando. If you transpose, which is the word a lot of your teachers use, transpose or use the inverse operation, this will become 18 minus 2 equals n. Therefore, it is in position 6. Team. Checking in. Everyone's still with me. Is everybody still with me? If you are not, put a thumbs down right now. Tender says. Shapes kiss. Beautiful. I see those thumbs up in the reactions. If you are not with me, raise your hand right now so we can fix it quickly, quickly. So patterns with pictures are generally nice, right, guys? You just pin it down, you write down the position, you write down the value, and then you figure out how you get from position to value. Akumzi, Mpogutu, great. It's okay, welcome, Anele. We're doing patterns with pictures. Okay. Okay. Let's move on. Let's move on. We have another pattern with pictures here. I have another pattern of pictures. I'm going to give you guys three minutes to give me TN. Three minutes to figure out what TN is. And then you write it in the chat. It's not so straightforward. I know when I first, when I wrote position one and two, you were like, oh, but then I wrote the baby like, oh, hmm. So let's see if we can see what the pattern is here. Few minutes started a while ago, but because I'm talking too much. Oh, Marco, not quite, but do you need, okay, Marco, did you mean n squared or do you mean 2n? Clarify for me. 2n, but 2n minus 2, check that again, Marco. Everyone else, keep checking. Let us know when you find tn. Anyone have an idea? Mm. 
Yep. Okay. Let me shut up. I said I was going to give you guys two minutes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, sweating, you know? And divided by two, I will over C. N squared minus two. Okay. Somebody's like, I'm not gonna do this, ma'am. Help us, help me. N times two plus two. Okay. Okay. Maybe if Mem tell us the number of sides in H. <laughs> oh, yes. I think Tando's talking about, oh, I see what you guys are doing. I see what you guys are doing. So, guys, there are two patterns in this, actually. Thanks, Mem, for bringing that up, okay? Pattern number one would be the number of sides, right? And pattern number two would be the shapes. How many shapes can we find in this one square? So let's deal with the sides first. Sure, pretend that's a straight handle. That's terrible. Woo, let me use a ruler. Uh -huh. If I can use a ruler, never mind, I'm not using a ruler. Uh, there we go. Okay, so for the sides one, we have position one, position two, and position three. The first one is one, two, three, all sides. Cool, we're done. And the second one, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, no. I'm not sure how this is gonna work. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. I can't count anymore, guys. Five, six, seven, eight. Hi, but guys, no. I don't do the sides ones, so I don't know how you would find the sides one. Nelisa, how would we find the sides one? One, two, three. The first one is easy, it's four. And yeah, this one? But then the other ones, it's like you divide them in like, for example, that line will have like two sides. Is it two or one? That's what I'm asking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Then it will be two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm not liking this pattern, but I see a pattern though, but I'm not liking it. Ma'am, a side is when two lines meet. Marco, that's not helping me, okay? Mine was the shapes one. You guys went in complicated life. Mm. In my case, one would have one, this would have two, and number three would have one, two, three. Four. See, guys, mine looks a little bit less me than yours. This one, I don't know. If you figured out the sides one, give us a heads up. But right now, we are working on the shapes one. We were about all my babies and my counting babies. Okay, so let's check here. Looking at the relationship between that and that. That and that. Let's talk about the shapes pattern. Amashe says it's 2n minus 1 for shapes. This one. Are you sure, Amashe? Let's test it, okay? Two times one minus one is indeed one. Two times two minus one is not two, Amashe. Check again. Check again, my darling. Marco says for size is T3 is 16. Because it's plus three, plus five, but this would be plus seven. Guys, let's just leave the size on the and mess up our legs. Let's talk about shapes. Let's talk about shapes. Okay. I had figured this one out and now my brain is like, twee. You all know the size on my day today. Guys, holidays must just be holidays. Okay. Two. Oh, there we go. 2n minus 2. No, guys, let's talk about exponents. Remember we did exponents? 2n minus 1. No, it still doesn't. Yes, it does. Let's look at this, guys. Let's look at this. Let's revise with laws of exponents. What is anything to the power of 0? If you guys went here for the exponents, you'll be fine. Don't worry. Anything to the power of 0 is? Basis is 1. 
right? And then two to the power of one is how much? Let me know in the chat. Novoyo, hi girl, welcome. Finally, someone's gonna talk to me. Hi Novoyo. Okay, you're on mute. There we go. Hi. Never mind. Two squared is how much? Four. Are we seeing something here, guys? That was a major clue. Aren't these the answers that we want? Hmm? The only problem is what's going on on this side. What have we here, guys? That was a big clue, guys. This time you have to get it. This time we have to get it. We have found a way to the power of T N. Ooh, Pastor is getting somewhere. Pastor is getting somewhere. Check this, guys. Zero is what? The same as one minus one, right? One is the same as two minus one. Are we seeing where I'm going? Two, the same as three minus one. Unmute, Novoyo, your hand was up. Unmute, let's talk about it. Okay. Let's find Novoyo. Here we go. Hi, Novoyo. Hello, ma'am. Here we go. Let's talk about this, now. Yes, ma'am. So in the first, we say we're talking about shapes. In the first one, we have one because it's not divided at all. You agree with that? Yes, ma'am. In the second one, we have two shapes because one, two. And the third one, we have one, two, three, and four. Do you see that? Yes, ma'am. Now we have to figure out how do we get from the position, which are the one, two, and three, to the value, let me write that. N is a position, TN is the value. Now I gave you a big clue on the left channel over here. Do you see this? Were you here when we did exponents? Yes, ma'am. So remember, anything to the exponent of zero is? One. And then two to the power of one is? Two. And two squared, which is two to the power of two is? Four. Can you see we're getting the values that we want? Yes, ma'am. But now the problem is that exponent. This exponent is the problem because we didn't start from the power from the position of zero. We started from the position of what? Check one. It. We started from one. So now we have to manipulate our formula to get to the place where we want it. Now I gave you another clue over here, Novo. Are you with me? Yes. So what we can do is say the position, which is n to the two to the power of n, but we don't want n. We want n minus what? How do I get from zero from one to zero? I have to say one minus. No boy. There we go. One. See what's happening here. Yes, ma'am. So in the first position, we would have had two to the power of one, which is not what we want. So we subtract one. And one minus one is how much? Zero. zero, which is what we wanted, isn't it? Two to the power of zero. That gave us one. Yes, ma'am. Do you see that? And then in position two, we have two to the power of? Two minus one, which is one to the power of one, and that's going to give us two in position three. We had plus two to the power of three minus one, which is two, two. squared. You see our pattern? Yes, ma'am. Therefore, Tn has to be two to the power of n minus one. Because if you just say two to the power of in, you're not going to quite get the answers that you want. Do you see that? Yes, ma'am. There we go. Are you feeling better? Yes, ma'am. There we go. Okay, yes, everyone, the chat. Do we see the pattern now? 
Do we see the pattern now? What did Basi say? Two to the power of t n minus one. Okay, Basi was getting there, but remember you have to use n minus one, not t n, because t n would be the value. So shape patterns are not as easy as they look, guys. You have to look around and try to figure it out. Okay, so then tell me in position six, what will TN be? We have our general formula over here. So in position six, I'd have to say T six equals to the power of two, equals to two to the power of six minus one, which is two to the power of five, which is eight, 16, 32. Ooh, that was a hectic one, wasn't it? That was a hectic one. Maybe my next one is a bit easier. No guarantees though, knowing me. <laughs> Nelly's come on now. You can't make me the bad person, Nelly, so like, <laughs> they liked me up until now. Yeah, thank you, and now we had good news. It was a beautiful one though, guys, isn't it? Yeah, it was. It was. Very enlightened. See, now I'm back to the easy ones. No guarantees. Check the smile. Okay, number one, number two, number three. Someone, hand up, please. I need to do this with someone so we can do it together. I heard Nobuya's voice only today. That's a sin. That is a big problem. If you're not sure, it's okay, guys. I'll walk you through it. Just raise your hand and we can do this together. If not, I need you guys to start tapping in the chat so you can do this together. So let's do this. N, T, N. So in first position, we have one second. In second position, we have three seconds. In third position, we have one, two, three, four. Five circles. Ooh, I'm seeing something. Okay. Okay, from term to term, so from one to three, it's plus two. From three to five, it's plus two. But remember, what are we looking for, guys? The relationship between what and what? This is a relationship between TNs only, right? But is that what we're looking for? Is that what we're looking for, guys? We're looking for the relationship between? What? Tell me. Oh, Abbas is just like, I don't know, this. Here's the formula. But I want you, I want to remind you guys, what are we looking for? The relationship between what and what? Remind me. Right? They're just like, mm -mm, we ain't going to do this with you, girl. Mm -mm. We're tired. Come on, guys. Amatle has it. We're looking for a relationship between N and TN, not between the TNs, right? Right? And if we check here, we're always adding two. We're always adding two. So, what type of pattern is that? We did this pattern over and over and over and over again. What type of pattern is that? We're always adding the same thing. This one is actually really easy. I think that's what I'm actually just got it. Linnea, thank you. Basse, okay, Basse was getting somewhere. This plus two is called the constant what? Constant. It's a linear pattern. This plus two that I just wrote here that you guys told me we're always adding. What do we call this plus two? Constant difference. Uh, so we have our D is two. So don't get fooled when you see pictures, guys. Sometimes you still have a linear pattern. Okay, who remembers the general formula? Please? Let's see who was listening in class the last time we were here. What is a general formula? I'm going to have to substitute somewhere. I'm going to have to substitute somewhere. Tell me what the formula is. Tn equals. Mm, when I say we must have a box of notes, do we see? Tn equals. Oh, thank you. Botani has our 
plus C. Thank you, Butu and Botari. Ooh. We've already established what D is. There it is, we have it, it's two. Remind me what C is again, guys. Remind me what C is. Amashe, Asande, I see you guys. See you guys. Remind me what C is. We already have D, so we only need C. And a kumzi. Okay, that's the value of C, but what is it? Thank you, Marco. That would be T zero. No, Asande, it's T zero. So if there was a term before this, we would call that T zero. Okay, which is C. So if we're adding to going to the next pattern, then we would have to do the opposite to find the pattern before. So as I think it's Amashi already so nicely told us, C would have to be one minus two, which is negative one. Right? Yes, thank you, Gotu. So then this general formula is easy because we already have our D and C. So then our general formula will be Tn equals 2n plus negative 1. But this plus and minus problem here that we don't like, we never like this plus and minus here. So again, tell me a positive and a negative give you. What will positive and negative give us? Thank you, Gotu. Tn is 2n minus 1. So you could have done it like that, or alternatively, you could just look at it like I'm saying, and then like, okay. So if you say 2 times 1, that's going to give you 2. They subtract 1, and that's going to give you 1. And it indeed does work, because 2 times 2 is 4. Subtract 1, it is 3. Whew. How's everyone feeling? Thumbs up, thumbs down. I feel like I'm talking a lot today. It might be because I closed all my windows and I'm getting hot. Okay, I see the thumbs up in the reactions and in the chat. Beautiful. Okay, let's see what's next. Brain break, of course it is. We are back to riddles. Can I have my hands up for riddles? Okay, this is a mixture of riddles and would you rather's. So let's see. Novoyo was like, bah, I'm ready. Novoyo, are you ready? Novoyo? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Here you go. You ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay, here's yours. What do other people use more, even though it belongs to you? Name your name. You guys are cheating. You've seen these before. Okay, it's fine. Thanks, Novoyo. <laughs> I see you. Novoyo's laughing because she's seen this before. Did you guys go and Google these? Uh, <laughs> Lesiba says your car. Lesiba, please don't borrow people your car. It will end in tears. Okay. Never borrow people your car. Please, I'm, I'm begging you. This is special request from me. Okay, who's next? Lucyba? Bridget says time. It was name, guys. Lucyba, you ready? Yes, ma'am. Wonderful. Let's hear what Joe says. Let's hear what Joe says. Felix's father had three sons, and the names were Snap, Crackle, and Oh, you fell right into my trap. Read again, Lucyba. Felix. It's Felix's father. He has to be the third son. Yo, Lucyba fell right in. Snap, crackle, and pop. Now we know who eats Rice Krispies in the morning. You see, guys. Okay, Bridget, are you ready? Bridget? Yes, ma'am, I'm ready. Wonderful. What has keys but cannot unlock a thing? Mm. What has keys but cannot unlock anything? Ma'am. Oh, See the helping you in the chat? It's a piano. There we go, it's a piano. 
Thank you. Let's go quickly. Our time is running. Who's next? What are the left? What are teeth you cannot eat? What are teeth but cannot, cannot eat? eat? Yeah. Uh, hmm. Hmm. What a difficult. No, ma'am. I've heard this one, ma'am. I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> what are teeth but can't eat, guys? Hmm. Skeleton. Hick, tick. Marco, I guarantee it's not a skeleton. Uh, Hi, but nobody's helping. Ah, you guys. A razor, oh, man. I think it's a razor. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Oh. Now I remember. Yep. Okay, everyone in the chat, let's do the rest of them. Would you rather be covered in fur or covered in scales? Let's see what you guys are thinking. Mm. Oh. Akumzi says fur, that is not. You're going to be shedding all over the house. At least with scales, it's just like one, but it's still nasty. Scales like, guys, you guys want to be covered in fur? I can't do this. I can't do this. Nearly so, would you rather be covered in fur or scales? Ah, uh, fur. You are defeating my whole chat. Simone. Why skulls? Save like this. snakes have skulls. Save this lesson. Would you rather be covered in fur or skins? I'm also gonna have to go with fur. Yeah. Guys, you're gonna be shedding. Oh my God. Yeah. I can't okay. too much the fur, then you go back. I'm yeah. defeated. I'm defeated with you guys. Fur is messy. Thank you. I come to get you. I couldn't if I was your teacher, I was going to give you extra marks in the test for saying yes. <laughs> would, you add, would you rather always have to hop around on one foot or always have to squat? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I know what I'm choosing. One foot. <laughs> you see what I say? Squat. Let's see where you must be fit because I would die. Oh, you want to be fit, like your glutes and stuff. Die if I had to scratch. Dead. I'll just fall away and stay. I mean, you're allowed to change your foot, aren't you? I will just change feet. Like hop around on left and then hop around on right. Hop, squat. Okay, guys. You guys are disturbing me. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We are moving on. Thank you. Jump on one foot. Yes, Lucila. I would rather do that, honestly. Not even, not even hearing your chats this time. I know. Okay. Whew. Everyone take a deep breath. And we are back to patterns. Patterns or pictures or shapes. Okay. Let us see what we have over here. So this is shape number one, obviously. Number two, number three, and number four. So we have our N and we have our T N. N, N equals one. How many matchsticks do you have? Let's see what, oh, you're doing the deep breath. I was gonna be like, let's see that. What are you complaining? We don't even start this one. Okay, in process six, how many matchsticks do we have in the first shape? Everyone agrees, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Beautiful. N equals two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hope we are seeing a pattern already. N equals three is three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. And N equals four, if I am correct, has to be twenty. Oh. Tell me, do we see the relationship between N, so your position? And TN, which is the value of that term. This is N. Okay. So the yellow people there are N for the yellow numbers. Oh, guys. Keep saying holidays must just be holidays. My brain is like, hmm. So between N and TN. So between the yellow and the pink, what's going on there? What's going on there? Maybe we should write them next to each other. T 
How much is T1? Ten one, ten number two, ten number three, and, and ten number four. T1 is how much? And we all inquire it. Okay. Six, right? Term number two would be 12. Term number three is 18. And term number four is 24. Tell me, guys, what is the relationship between the position and the value? How would you get from one to six? How would you get from one to six? Chat's very quiet with my connection. Oh, there we go. Marco, bo, 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 bo. n times six or six n, that would mean the same thing. Does everyone else see it? How would you get from one to six? We would multiply by six. One times six would give you six, right? One is the position, so this is n. And this is what we want, which is t n. So therefore our rule has to be Tn is equal to n times six or six n, which is how we like writing it. And we check, I always tell you guys, you need to go check using the rest of the pattern. Is T3, in fact, six times three, which is 18, is that correct? Yes, that means our general formula is correct. Easy enough. Are we with me? Are we with me, Grey Nines? Certainly hope so. Yes. Okay. Everyone says yes. Yes, ma'am. Dimple, dimple. Thank you. Cool. I still have more. I still have more. I feel like these are easy for you guys. Size one, size two, size three. Give me TN. Give me a few minutes to give me TN, right? We have so many people in this lesson and I only have like five people responding. Well, I saw the ones in the reactions, I'm lying. I saw you guys in the reactions, but everyone else is just like, mm. Don't freak out, Dimple. Don't freak out. Remember, just write them down. Write your N and your T. In. So in size number one, in size number two, in size number three. And then tell me what your TN is. Marco says N plus four. Passage says four. I'm hoping you are not done typing. What is TN? Marco says plus four. Yes, and Paul's getting somewhere. Remember guys, we're not looking for the relationship from size one to size two. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for the relationship from the position, which is size one, to how many blocks they are. So they are one, two, three, four blocks in size one. They are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks in size two, four, seven, ten, and 12 blocks in size three. So we're not looking for how do we get from size one to size two. You're looking for how do you get from one to four. That's what we're looking for. It's here. Thank you. It looks like we're getting somewhere. Marco, check. Do you mean plus? Remember one plus four is definitely not four, so check. Tn would be one times four is equal to four. Two times four is equal to eight. Three times four equals 12. What are we timesing by over and over again, guys? Check, what are we timesing by? 
over and over, we are multiplying by four. So then surely, if you're multiplying the position by four, then your rule has to be N, which is your position, times four, or we rewrite this as four N. So I have a question for you. If I have six T blocks, so I'm telling you that Tn equals 60. What is the position? As in, what is N? Tell me. If I have Tn equals 60, using this rule, what is N? Anyone have an idea how we would go about that? Thanks, Marco. How's everyone else doing with that? I'm only seeing one answer, so I'm worried about how everyone else is doing. Okay, Nuboyo, Dinpo, Akumzi, seems like everyone agrees. Uno, Tando, Nintendo. Okay, 60 divided by four. Thank you very much. So if I said TN is 60, and this is the same as 4N, then how do I get rid of this four, guys? What's the inverse of multiplication? What's the inverse operation for multiplication? How do I get rid of this four? In other words, this four that's in front of my n, I want n to be on its own. So it is division. So then you would divide by four. What you do on the right, you have to go back and on the left, therefore n will be equal to four divided by four. That's gone. It's just one. And sixteen divided by four is fifteen. Whew. How's everyone feeling? 